The uh, bombshell was thrown by Stuart Alderity after the settlement talk reading the Coinbase ruling that was handed down on Wednesday. Uh, the Securities and Exchange Commission gave the judge a bill of goods, which she was required to acknowledge as being accurate at this point in the case. Uh, it is now time to move on to the challenging aspect, which is finding evidence. I guess that the SEC is all talk and no action. Uh, remember the time when the judge of Ripple fired the hack expert of the SEC for attempting to claim that he knew what purchasers of XRP were relying on? It appears that the SEC's strategy is falling apart faster than a sandcastle at high tide. Selling a bill of goods to the judge is not regulation. It is deception. As a result, the SEC's hack expert was fired for trying to sell a bill of goods. It seems as though the Securities and Exchange Commission needs to get its act together and present some real proof to stop peddling baseless accusations about what XRP purchasers relied on. The rhetoric of the Securities and Exchange Commission may have been successful in fooling some individuals, but it is now time to face the consequences and present some genuine evidence. The Securities and Exchange Commission has been taking Ripple to task, aiming for significant fines and long-term limitations. Since this, Higher-ups in the Ripple's community are getting excited, and the entire cryptocurrency world is keeping a close eye on the situation since this battle has the potential to establish a significant precedent for the way digital assets are governed in the United States. If the SEC's case is built on smoke and mirrors rather than substantial facts, then this is a joke. I mean, what a joke this is. The fact that they are being called out is not surprising at all. It is time for the Securities and Exchange Commission to either put up or shut up. The SEC's bark is much more oppressive than its bite, and this is becoming more and more apparent with each passing day. The recent legal battle between Coinbase and the Securities and Exchange Commission has only served to stir the pot further, igniting debates about openness and how the SEC conducts its business. Arguments are taking place regarding the definition of secondary sales, particularly in situations when it is not even possible to determine who is on the other end of the transaction. To alleviate some of the anxiety that has been plaguing the XRP community, attorney Bill Morgan, who is in favor of XRP, made an effort to answer some of the issues that have been raised. Ripple has been pounding on the idea that the, the court is kind of brushing aside the entire secondary sales deal uh, in comparison to program sales. Uh, he pointed out that this is something that the court is doing. Morgan indicated that Judge Torres did not conclude that secondary market sales of XRP cannot be considered investment contracts. As a result, there was no reason for Judge Fila to dispute the ruling that Judge Morgan made. That there is no question that Torres did not conclude the topic. It is important to take into consideration the following. Uh, the SEC's case against Ripple is dismissed either because they were unable to offer evidence to back their accusations or because they were participating in unethical behavior. This has the potential to change the rules of the game for all cryptocurrencies. Take into consideration a situation in which you are participating in a game of basketball and the referee continues to make poor calls. This would make the game less fair than it already is. Likewise, if regulators such as the Securities and Exchange Commission do not adhere to the rules or are unable to provide evidence to support their position, it would lead investors to wonder whether or not the game is fair. Therefore, the verdict in this case may have a huge impact on how we all perceive the Bitcoin world and how much trust we have in it. Uh, journalists for Fox News named Charles Gasparino has recently made the statement uh, that he is a buddy of Wall Street and a huge lover of the cryptocurrency known as Ripple XRP. Lawyers for breaking securities feel that the decision that was made by a federal judge against Coinbase should serve as a caution to holders of XRP. This is because the Ripple analysis that was made by Judge Torres is likely to be overruled by the federal courts. To dismiss the proceeding, Judge Fila chose to reject Coinbase's contention that Torres's Ripple finding supports its cause. The rationale for this decision was that Judge Fila decided to dismiss the proceeding instead. Insane, isn't that the case? Take a look at this now. Michael Misbach, the CEO of MasterCard, has expressed concern that Taylor Swift may not be around in the next five years. It was Roth's analysis of Terraform that Fila depended on, and it was this analysis that rejected Tor's analysis. A relationship between Ripple XRP and MasterCard for CBDC has already been established, in addition to the partnership with WF. It was announced on the website of the World Economic Forum that Ripple was being discussed. Ripple is performing comparable functions to those of the internet in terms of information. Even though the price of XRP may not be very tempting at the moment, there are numerous indications that it may emerge as the next major player. A question that needs to be answered is when, and to tell you the truth, 
It might not be right now, but it will undoubtedly become the next great. In light of recent developments in the Bitcoin market, the following are some changes. Uh, earlier this week, a judge named Lewis Kaplan from the United States District Court for the Southern District of New York handed down a sentence of 25 years in jail to Fried, who had previously served as the CEO of FTX. Fried was a bankman for Sam SPF in connection with FTX user funds. Fried was found guilty of seven felony offenses, including witness tampering and perjury. Both of these allegations were part of the investigation. Father of a victim of FTX who lost $130,000 requested the judge that he or she be forgiven for S. Fried's actions. In contrast to the Department of Justice's recommendation of between 40 and 50 years in prison, the SPS suggests a sentence of six years in prison. The motion that Coinbase submitted to have the Securities and Exchange Commission's complaint against the exchange to establish a spot Ether Exchange Traded Fund ET, Fidelity has submitted an S1 application to the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. It would be possible for Fidelity to stake a portion of the ether that is now held by the exchange if the exchange traded fund were to be received and authorized. Additionally, it would make it possible for Fidelity Digital Asset Services to undertake the role of custodian. As a result of this ruling, the Securities and Exchange Commission can proceed with its lawsuit against Coinbase, which alleges violations of federal securities laws related to the listing of 13 tokens that are now considered securities. According to the Electronic Trade Document 2023, XRP can be considered an eligible trade receipt that transfers digital ownership. A set of parameters has been established by the Scottish Parliament regarding the meaning of security that is in the form of immovable objects. Ripple has completed a proof of concept experiment with the Royal Bank of Scotland rubs as part of the bank's IT upgrade that is estimated to cost 3.5 billion pounds. This trial comprised RBS teams investigating Ripple's blockchain-based technology to see how it may be incorporated into the operations of the bank. On top of that, Ripple's has been actively engaged in collaborations with several Scottish universities in the fields of design and action. The teams that have participated in these collaborations have been allowed to acquire funding to prototype business concepts that are tied to blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies at the technological solution that is located in Edinburgh Ribs. When money enters these blockchain and cryptocurrency ecosystems, I believe that if you want a crypto asset, you will purchase Bitcoin. This is something that we have predicted for a considerable amount of time, and I feel that it is something that we have anticipated. Uh, on the other hand, if you are interested in purchasing a tokenized digital asset, you will do it using the Ethereum platform. What we are witnessing right now is that Ethereum has just become the default choice for any kind of digital token, any kind of tokenized asset. You would welcome an XRP ETF then? We would certainly welcome it. And I think it's inevitable that there'll be, you know, multiple ETFs around different uh, tokens. I think you'll even see ETFs potentially around baskets that also, I think, further diversify that risk. Uh, are you in talks with the largest issuers, particularly BlackRock, to get this done? Oh, yeah.